Alright, Chad has spoken and Universal has just dropped a bunch of information about Halloween Horror Nights from single night tickets to RIP tours to unmasking the horror to general details about the event and what we can expect for this year. So in this video, we're going to break down everything that was just announced today, talking about some of the changes from previous years, but also talking about what to buy if you're coming to Halloween Horror Nights for the first time this year, because it can be a little overwhelming. So strap in, we got a lot, a lot, a lot to talk about. So let's just waste no more time and hop into this. Spooky season is here, my friends. Okay, so before we talk about anything specific about the event itself, let's talk about the dates that Halloween Horror Nights is running this year. Halloween Horror Nights 2024 or Halloween Horror Nights 33, I guess we're talking about Orlando, so 33 makes more sense, is running from August 30th to November 3rd of 2024, adding up to a total of 48 event nights, which is just about the same as it was last year. We also know with this event that we're going to be getting, of course, 10 haunted houses, five scare zones, a show, new food and drink, as well as the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store. Many of these things are not surprising. Of course, 10 haunted houses, five scare zones, the Tribute Store, all that stuff is pretty standard for Halloween Horror Nights nowadays. But only one show being listed is quite interesting. Of course, that's what we had last year. We had Nightmare Fuel Revenge Dream. But I thought they were going to add another show this year, as it does help with managing capacity, managing crowds. But here you go, official 10 haunted houses, five scare zones, one show, uh, the Halloween Horn Age tribute store, as well as food and beverage, pretty much everything we've come to expect from the event at this point. Alongside the press release, we also got a little video from Halloween Horror Nights. It's nothing crazy. It's just a few clips from past years, along with this sort of static video closing in on a door with the caption, fear cannot be contained. This can mean any number of things. And honestly, I wouldn't read too far into this as being like a hint for this year's event, maybe. But typically with these announcements, we just kind of get the gist and maybe some little marketing material, but not like a huge, big, clear hint as to where the event is going this year. Although I could be totally wrong, this could be the icon of this year staring us right in the face, but I don't think that's happening. I just think this is kind of a fun little video to celebrate the announcement. And speaking of celebrating the announcement, Universal did announce that there is limited edition Halloween Hornets merch already out in the park and on the website with this Where Horror Lives sort of punky 80s, 90s inspired graphic. They have a t-shirt, a hat, a tumbler, all with the same design. I really like the graphic. I'm not too big on the sort of orange color of the shirt, but it's going to make it nice for the next few months because it's going to get hot in the summer in Florida. So great for those who don't just want to wear black HHN shirts all the time. You want to rep HHN, but you want something a little lighter, a little more colorful. We also got the reveal of the 2024 Halloween Horror Nights logo carrying this sort of punky 90s theme design. Are we getting a 90s year finally? We got the 80s. Again, I don't know. I wouldn't read too far into it. Like I said, they usually like to just kind of put out a generic design for this introductory merch. I mean, last year was See You in the Fog, and that really didn't have a whole lot to do with the event itself. This is just a little tease, a little taste as to what we could expect. Maybe we can get a new tagline with this Where Horror Lives. I'd be really happy to retire the Never Go Alone. They've been using that for three years in a row. So I thought I'd just let y'all know about this merchandise. If you're going to the park soon, or if you want to buy it online, I'll put the link in the description down below. Okay, but let's move on to tickets because that was the bulk of this announcement. I'm going to go through each each tier, some of the basic information, the prices, what I think will be best for you based on your situation at Horror Nights at the very end. So let's just dive right into these tickets. One thing to note with all of these tickets that the earlier you go in the season, so whether that is the beginning of September, middle of September, you're going to get generally cheaper tickets. That's not entirely the case all the time. It's not a be all end all, but typically the tickets are going to be cheaper, especially if you go during the week versus the weekend. Those Saturdays in October are going to be the most expensive nights just for any of these, both tickets and add-ons. Also, in the case of every single ticket or add-on, buying them online is going to result in you getting them for a better price than if you go and wait to get them until you're at the park itself. And also, these tickets are subject to availability, so just buying them online as soon as possible is going to be the most recommended for either single night tickets, RIP tours, unmasking, multi-night tickets when those become available. Any kind of ticket for HHN, it's best to buy it online and buy it early because they can sell out or become more expensive over time. First thing up, you have the 
single night ticket. This is the basic ticket you can get for Halloween Horror Nights. Pretty self-explanatory. One thing to note is that you do get six months of Peacock Premium free with this ticket. I know there was some struggle last year with this offer, not really showing up in people's emails, but if you do pick up this ticket, check your emails for this offer. You can watch some great horror movies. This is starting at $82.99 and going up to $122.99 on peak days. So just keep that in mind if you're planning a trip out here. But let's say you don't want to just go to the event. You want to go in style. You want to be able to skip the lines at each of the haunted houses. Well, then I would recommend looking into the Halloween Horror Nights Express Pass. This, as well as the other things I'm going to talk about, are add-ons to the single night ticket. These don't count as sort of a substitution. You're not going to be able to get your way in there just by buying an Express Pass. But if you do buy this, again, you get to skip the lines one time at all haunted houses plus the rides and attractions in the park and this starts at $129.99 and goes up to $239.99 so quite a big range here quite a bit more expensive than last year but if you're only coming for one night I am going to recommend this to you as it will allow you to see more of the event without just waiting in those lines whether that means knocking out more haunted houses or doing more of the scare zones or other experiences it's really hard to do everything in one night but the express pass makes it a little more helpful especially if you already have a game plan which I'm gonna be doing future videos on game plans and ways to tackle the event if you've never been before so stay tuned to the channel for that but if you have one of those you'll be able to do a lot more than without it so I'm gonna recommend this especially again if you're coming for one night but let's say it's your first time coming to the event you don't know anything about the park you don't know where anything is you want a professional to take you around the event well I would recommend the Halloween Horror Nights RIP tour and this is ranging in anywhere from $359.99 to $429.99. So this is quite hefty, quite a bit more than the Express Pass, but you actually get a guarantee to see all 10 houses, all five scare zones, the shows. They do have private RIP tours and those are quite a bit more expensive, so expensive that you have to call ahead to ask for a quote. But if you want a little more simple of an RIP experience, the regular RIP tour is here for sale. Again, $359 to $429 plus your single night admission. The final thing I'm gonna talk about is a really cool add-on experience. Yes, those past experiences were add-ons, but they were add-ons to your night. This is something completely different that I really love and I've showcased a lot on this channel. This is the Halloween Horror Nights Behind the Screams Unmasking the Horror Tour. And this is a daytime VIP tour with a lights on look at a few different haunted houses. There's a three house option and a six house option. This basically allows you to go with a tour guide and get all the little nuggets of information, all the little details in each of the haunted houses. There are no scare actors, there are no effects, it's just the sets and the large scale effects that you're going to get a behind the scenes look at, which is really, really cool if you're a fan of the event. And if you want more specifics on how these tours work, I did both the three house and six house tour last year, as well as the six house tour the year before. All those videos are going to be linked in the description or up there in the cards. Now, the biggest change with the Unmasking the Horror Tour from previous years is that this year, starting on August 11th, you'll be able to do the Three House Unmasking the Horror Tour. Yes, you heard me correctly. That is over two weeks before the opening night of HHN 33, meaning you'll get to see these houses a bit early, which I think is really interesting. I'm kind of mixed on this because on one hand, I don't want it to be spoiled. I would like to go into the houses with the effects on and the actors and all the atmosphere there, but also getting a little preview of the houses to get you hyped for Halloween Horror Nights 33 could be kind of interesting. Honestly, this has really been kind of divisive within the community and for good reason. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Do you think it's cool that they're doing it a bit early or do you think they're kind of ruining the magic doing the Amazon? the horror tour before the event itself. Anyways, I think I've gone way off the deep end talking about these tours. Let's jump to the prices. As far as prices go, the three house tour goes from $99.99 to $159.99. And the six house tour goes from $179.99 to $209.99. So yes, these tours are quite a bit pricey, but I think it's a really cool experience if you can swing it. 
So I know I just threw a lot at you information wise about these tickets and you're probably wondering what do I buy to go to Halloween Horror Nights 2024? Multi-night tickets do exist but they are not out quite yet. They don't come out until later in the summer until we get closer to the event. If you plan on going to Halloween Horror Nights for multiple nights whether you live around here or you're coming on vacation to Universal, I recommend the multi-night option but if you only have one night obviously the single night option. Just know again they are not out yet. They are coming. I feel like everybody has to say that frequent fear passes are coming my friends but it's not going to be for a little while so if you are doing multi-night just be patient they'll be out there and whether to do express or rip i recommend personally express if you have a plan i mentioned that before that's kind of the key difference if you want to do things at your own pace and have your own plan i recommend doing express doing some research and having that approach to the event but if you want universal to take the wheel and you just want to go and have a good time and you got the money the rip tour is going to guarantee that you see everything and then if you're someone who maybe doesn't enjoy the super spooky things or just likes to look at set detail special effects and things like that, I'm going to recommend the Unmasking the Horror Tour, also just for big fans of the event itself. And that's my favorite add-on that they have is the Unmasking the Horror Tour. It's one of the things I look most forward to every single year. So obviously I'm going to vouch for that one. But yeah, Halloween Horror Nights 33 is here, at least it's not here yet. The announcement season is here. No houses, no hints as to what is actually coming. I don't think we're going to get anything until probably sometime next month, May, but they are in full swing. So keep your eyes out on Halloween Horror Nights social medias. On this channel, we're gonna be talking about all the updates that happen with Halloween Horror Nights this year. If you like these videos, these sort of tip videos, they're a little bit new for me, let me know by leaving a like and dropping a comment. What are you excited for about HHN 33? What ticket are you planning to get? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know if I should make more of these sort of first timer tips or just general tips for the event style of videos. And if you did like this video, like HHN history, lore, tips, I guess, be sure to to subscribe to the channel because we got a lot more coming my friends anyways i want to thank you all for watching this video it truly means a lot and i will see you all of course in the next one stay spooky and take care everybody